Military aircraft pursuing an unresponsive plane makes an explosion sound in the Washington, D.C. area. NORAD The Washington, D.C. metroplex area, as well as regions as far east as the eastern shore of Maryland and as far west as Manassas, Virginia, all experienced a tremendous explosion sound caused by two military planes attempting to catch up to a Cessna with an unresponsive pilot. According to the Office of Emergency Management for Annapolis, the Sunday boom was brought on by a permitted DOD flight. The loud boom that was heard across the DMV area was caused by an authorized DOD flight, the office said. This flight caused a sonic boom. That is all the information available at this time. Officials in Bowie, Maryland, verified that a jet departing from Joint Base Andrews was the source of the sonic boom reported there. The Cessna was intercepted above Washington, D.C., and Northern Virginia by two F-16 planes from an Air National Guard facility in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and two from the D.C. National Guard at Andrews Air Force Facility, according to the Continental U.S. North American Aerospace Defense Command, NORAD. The two F-16 aircraft from Andrews were the source of the sonic boom since they were permitted to fly at supersonic speeds to catch up with the airliner. At 3.20 p.m., a civilian jet was intercepted, and fighter pilots reported that the Cessna's pilot was not responding. Before the Cessna's crash in Virginia in the George Washington National Forest, NORAD stated that they had been attempting to contact the pilot. People on the ground may have witnessed flares being deployed to try to intercept the jet, according to NORAD. According to NORAD, the flares burn off fast and completely, posing little threat to anyone on the ground. A Cessna citation that took off from Elizabethton, Tennessee, headed for Islip, New York, but crashed in the thinly populated hamlet of Montebello, Virginia, at about 3 in the afternoon according to the Federal Aviation Administration. On board were four passengers. When the plane breached the no-fly zone in the vicinity of the Capitol on Sunday, officials were tracking it, according to congressional sources who spoke to Aircon at the time. The capital was reportedly in an elevated position for a short period until officials decided the jet that had entered restricted airspace was not a threat. Officials even claimed that the capital was never under threat. President Biden was informed about the event, according to a White House official, who also noted that Andrews could hardly hear the sonic boom.